This video will give a quick rundown of the strategy that we will use to build a tide detergent bottle. This bottle is interesting because it has a logo and handle perimeter area which is perfectly round and is cut out of the main bottle body. Here in SolidWorks we can see the actual perfectly round perimeter and we can also see that the logo surface is recessed approximately two millimeters with respect to the outer edge of the perimeter. The logo surface is com a compound curvature in this direction and in this direction. It blends back into the main bottle via a surface here and if we look at the handle area, the handle area also has to blend into the same surface going from concave in this area to act or convex in this area to concave in this area to properly blend in with this step here. When viewed from the front, we see that the round cutout has a nice graceful arc on the perimeter. And when from viewed from the back, the handle side we see that the arc is a little bit more complex looking due to the fact that the bottle narrows in this area for the handle. So in this first video, I'll just rapidly go through the strategy for building the bottle and then subsequent videos will focus on some of the details. Rolling back the feature tree to the beginning, the main body is nothing more than a boundary surface which includes just about everything including the handle area. Cut out of that is the circular opening. So now we can see what will become the handle. And then a temporary surface is built in the logo area adhered to these edges. This is a fill. The surface is extended and then offset inward two millimeters and the temporary surface is deleted. This will become our actual logo surface. The surface is then trimmed back to its final shape and this gap here will be filled in by the step. The step is a boundary surface with equal curvature to the logo area. Then the inside of the handle on the right is built, the inside of the handle on the left, a fill surface for the bottom handle area which blends in with the step, and a fill surface for the upper area. A fillet is added to the round perimeter. Into this vertical edge. This takes care of one half of the bottle. It's mirrored and knitted together. The bottom planar surface is added. A top surface. Everything is knit to a solid. A split line is added to the bottom. The dome tool is used to form a dent. Final fillets. A revolve for the neck. And finally, everything is shelled. That's it for this video and then the next video we'll go through the details.